Hey guys, what's up? I'm just gonna be doing my base really quick and then we're gonna get into using the Spring Magic collection. And I'm also kind of testing out some things from my Sephora haul. I didn't get any new concealers, but I am just gonna use my Huda faux filter for now. And I've already gelled down my brows cause I don't think I'm gonna fill them in today. I'm just gonna keep them gelled. I can't decide between all of my foundation options from my recent haul because I got the luminous silk in a lighter shade, but this one looks peach. It's supposed to be, this is 3.5. I don't remember what the description is, but I feel like it might be too peach. And then I got this Anastasia stick in number seven. That might be what I go in with today, actually. And But I also have the face bond in medium neutral. So, don't know if I wanna try this. Oh my God, am I gonna break it? Oh, you just pull off the top. Let me see the color. Oh, that's, that's orange for me right now. Okay, I'm gonna try the Beauty Balm by Anastasia, so. Yeah, that's a good match. Maybe I'll go in with the other one as like a, um, to warm up my skin. Definitely a weird smell to it though. Hmm. I'm going to use my Refer 31. It's dirty from the last couple times that I've used it. I'm going to clean my brushes this week. My Cinema Secrets finally came in and I'm so excited. Hopefully I'm not like streaky or anything. I have no idea what this looks like close up guys, I'm sorry. Let me pull up my palette. Mm. Definitely need to go in with another brush to kind of like blend it in. I'm gonna go in with my um, 813 from Unearthly. And I'm just gonna buff this into the skin a little more. Get rid of any streaks that I might have. See, I don't like the way this looks. It looks like it's clinging to my nose. Let's see if you guys could see this. Do you see this? Like I have normal dry skin, but I don't like the way that that looks. I feel like, oh, this is so terribly, probably not focused, but I'm not loving how that looks around the nose area. It looks like it's kind of just sitting on my skin right now. I don't love it. Maybe it's just something that I have to use when my skin's like really good. I'm gonna go try this Armani one a little bit. See if I could save the day. Because I feel like whenever I use my luminous soak, no matter how dry my skin looks, it always looks good. <laughs> it already looks better than it did before, but I feel like I just have this flaky skin. I feel like it looks better, but it's not like, didn't totally fix everything. And I'm a little bummed about that. All right, let me just go in with some of this Huda Tantor. I think this is in the shade light. This is not new for me. I have used this before. 
this is light damn this one is warm I am so fair right now I feel like none of my foundations match me with the exception of my Givenchy and my Fenty one that I used in a previous video so I just have to kind of like make it work I need to get one of those like foundation mixers I have one for deep skin but I don't like to deep not for deep skin I have one to deepen my foundations but I don't have one to lighten so that's definitely something I would like to pick up let me go back on the first brush I did get one of these Give Beauty um, Dewy Plump Collagen Cheek Tints and this one is in the shade Hibiscus so let's see how this blends in. I'm gonna go in with the same brush I used for my foundation. Oh, nice, nice and subtle and soft. I was a little scared. After that one time on live, when I did those rare beauty blushes, I was just, uh, I'm terrified of blush, liquid blush now. Traumatizing. I definitely need to build it up because I feel like it disappeared. I think this is going to be really nice for fair skin because like even more light than I am because it is very subtle. It is subtle. The finish is pretty. It didn't lift anything. It looks really nice on the skin. Um, but I wish that there was a little bit more pigment to it, to be honest with you. I'm going to take whatever's left here and put it on my nose. Um, yeah, there's that. I'm also going to use my um, incandescent liquid highlighters from the Spring Magic Collection, the Unearthly Spring Magic Collection. And I'm just going to put some on my hand to begin with. And I'm going to go with that foundation brush again and apply this over where I put that blush. And it does have a pink hue to it as well, so it's just adding to that blushiness while also giving some glow. Alright, and then I have a new powder. I have the Laura Mercier Translucent Press Setting Powder, and I also have the Pat McGrath Labs Baby Pink Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder. So I'm going to use this specifically for my under eye. Um, Another brush over here that I Oh, this will do. I'm gonna go in with the Refer 18. Ooh, that is, that is so powdery. I don't know if you guys could see that, but. I think I just barely have to touch it. I'm scared. <laughs> I am so scared. I don't know if I like it. I don't know if I like it. Anyways, let's go in with the Laura Mercier. It could just be that my base is just gonna be messed up today. Is what it is. Let me take a bigger brush for this one. I'm gonna take the 24 from Ruffer. I'm just using all these brushes because that's what's cleaning in front of me right now. And I'm going in with that Laura Mercier powder. And I'm just setting my face. This is so finely milled. It's really nice, actually. I think I really like this powder. All right, I'm gonna go in with the Spring Magic blush palette. 
and I think I want to go into the shade today called Familiar, which is this pinky one. And I'm trying not to put too much to begin with. And I feel like after I powdered, I kind of lost like that liquid blush underneath. I gotta play with that with like maybe more of a skin tint. Well, I did kind of just use the skin tint. <laughs> I don't know. A skin tint that I, that I actually like. <laughs> Cause that was not it for me. Um, all right, that's the base for now. And now I'm just gonna go right into the eyes. Um, hmm. Maybe I should zoom out because I'm always at a frame because I'm always hunched over. Hold please. All right, I zoomed you out so that I can ensure that I am in frame for the duration of this video. <laughs> Um, and I have no idea what I'm doing today, but maybe I will do some more of those like neutral tones in here because I don't know if I really got a chance to play with that on my last video. So this is the Spring Magic palette here. We've got tons of special shimmers. It's just so pretty. So I'm going to go in with the shade Cleanse, which is like this neutrally shade on my refer 27 and let me just blend out these lids here and I'm just gonna pop this into the crease for now just get this in there all over super easy I'm not even I'm really not being precise with this at all um, I am going to take some of that and actually run it underneath as well, just quickly. And I'm going to go in with Clove, which is like the brown in the palette. It's a dark, dark brown. And I am going to put this into the crease and darken this up a bit. Let me know if you guys picked up this palette on the first round, or if you picked it up at all, number one. And if you picked up the first round or the second, I'd love to know. And I can't wait to hear what you guys think of the color story. Orders are shipping out on Thursday, which is tomorrow. Um, so please keep an eye out for your tracking soon. All right, I love how easy and super smoky this is. I'm gonna take that same shade on like the outer lower lash line. And I don't know what shimmer to do. I don't know if I want to go in with Grimoire and do like a really neutral look or do something a little bit more fun. Like I could pop Cleanse actually. I'm going to turn this into, I'm going to turn this into a halo eye. So I'm going to go in with Clove on my refer 26. to just go back in with that fluffy one and just make sure the edge here isn't so harsh and then I'm going to go in with clouds which is like an iridescent white with my finger and I'm gonna press that into the center of my eye and concentrate most of that in the middle. And same here, it's like this iridescent tealy blue that also shifts kind of like soft purple. And 
like that. Maybe I'll take a little bit of dragonfly, which is the green one, and go over that a little bit too. Yep, so I went in with clouds and dragonfly over here. And I could do a zoom in too in, in a few seconds. Um, let me take a wipe so I don't keep using my clothes because I got this nice shirt from the midnight hour. And I really struggle to find things that are sleeveless that I aren't super short. Like I feel like everything's cropped these days. Do they not make like full length clothing anymore? <laughs> But I was lucky enough to find some really cool tops um, on their shop, so excited for that. I'm gonna go in and darken this up on the outer portion with clove again. And then I'm gonna take Dragonfly on the O2 brush and then press this in down here. And then clouds by itself on the other side into my inner corner. And I'm just taking what's left on the brush and kind of running it up. Like that. And then I think I need something for my waterline. So I'm gonna grab a pencil. I have purple. What else? This one would be cool. I don't know if I've opened this up. I have. I think I need to sharpen this. This is a NYX pencil and it is a Epic Wear eyeliner pencil. Hold on, I'm just sharpening it up. It's like this really pretty icy blue shade. And the color is, I don't even know if it's still available, but it's chill blue. So I'm gonna put some of that into my waterline. All right, I am going to put on some mascara and I'll be right back. All right, mascara is on and I need to put on a lip color. And I really want to use this Lunar Beauty one that I purchased recently, and this is in Milk Tea. So I'm just going to apply it kind of to the inner portions. Kind of keep that concentrated on the inner part of my lip. And I'm just going to blend it out a bit. Just really diffused and then I'm gonna go in with the pollen lip gloss from spring magic <laughs> this color is just so pretty it is like this pink orange yellow it is so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna zoom. Well, first, here's the look from far away. I'm sorry, this is disgusting. It, my tattoo is healing. <laughs> and this is the top that I was telling you about. Isn't this cute? I love it. So I will link this down below as well. Um, and I like that you could still have a bra on. Like, it's not one of those tops that like, you need some fancy contraption in order to wear it. <laughs> All right, let me zoom you in. There we go. And this is the eye look. This is the lip color. Ooh, there we go. 
that's the lip color. This is the eye look. I love the mixture of like having the neutrals in there, but then you could really play with like the iridescent shimmers in the palette. And these two paired together is just so pretty. And I only used two mattes and two shimmers. And this is the, these are the two mattes I've used. And this is the first shimmer and then the second. So I'm really happy with how this came out. Let me put on my flashlight. Let me do my flashlight trick. And you could see some of that iridescent sparkle in there. yeah let me know if you guys like this um what color combo should i do next with the palette let me zoom out and talk to you <sighs> hopefully i'm in focus still um but yeah let me know what other looks i should be doing with this palette if you enjoyed this video if you picked up spring magic what products we should come out with next because I have some ideas and last time I did a live we discussed doing a concept store. So that's what I'm going to do. We're going to put out um, one color of our formula of this matte liquid lipstick and then the bullet one so that you guys could decide which formula you prefer or maybe I could just do the mattes in some of the darker colors and then the bullets in some nudes but I'm also discontinuing a bunch of shades. Um, in our satin liquid lipstick formula. I know you guys love it, but the range is so big. And if I'm gonna keep adding on to the line, I think I'm just gonna keep the favorites, like the top sellers anyway. And yeah, that's it. I will see you guys next time. And thank you so much for hanging out with me. Bye guys.